I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on sequences and series. The question here is, consider the sequence 13, 20, 29, 40, 53 and so on. Write an expression for the nth term of the sequence. B is, find 98th term of the sequence and C is, use the expression in part A to write the general term for 10, 17, 26, 37, 50. Right? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, to get this uh, sequence, uh, let's find the first difference. Right. So, we have the terms as 13, 20, 29, 40, and 53. Now, the first difference is 20 minus 13, 29 minus 20, 40 minus 29, 53 minus 40. Correct. So, we'll first find the first difference. Right? So let me write this as first difference. Now, in this case, 20 minus 13 is 7, then 29 minus 20 is 9. 40 minus this is 11, and then we get 13, right? Well, so we see that first difference is not constant. So it's not linear, right? Now let's find second difference. Second difference, we have to do 9 minus 7, 11 minus 9, 13 minus 11. And once we do that, we get what? We get 2, 2, and 2. So we get second difference is constant, right? Now, that means what? It means, since second difference is constant, it really means that it's a quadratic relation. Correct. So, since it's a quadratic relation, we can write this as a times x minus, let's say, p whole square plus q, something like this. Now, one more formula I like you to look into, and that is from the constant second difference of two, we can get the value of a, right? So, so here's a very important formula: the value of a is equal to the constant difference divided by 2 factorial or 2, right? So in this case, the value of a is going to be 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. And therefore, what we get here is a relation where we can write this as x minus p whole square plus q. So that becomes our formula. We got a as equal to 1 since the difference constant is 2, right? So that basically implies that a equals to 1. Is that clear to you? So you can always use this formula for any polynomials, where 2 factorial is for quadratic second difference. If it was third difference, we'll use third 3 factorial. Is clear? So we can say that our relation is y equals to x minus p whole square plus q. Now the question is to find p and q. Now how do we figure out p and q? So there are two variables, two unknowns. We'll take two points. Let's take 13 and 20. So term 1, this is our term number 1, right? This is term number 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, correct? These are term numbers. Correct? So, if I put term number 1 for x, y value is 13. So, what I get here is 13 equals to 1 minus p whole square plus q. And if I put term number 2, I should get 20. So, 20 should be equal to 2 minus p whole square plus q. So, likewise, I get two equations, right? So, I get two equations. Let me number them as equation 1 and equation 2. Now, to get the value of uh, P and Q, 
we can subtract one equation from the other, right? So what we are going to do here is we'll do equation 2 minus equation 1, right? So 20 minus 13 will be 7. And here, Q and Q will cancel. We'll get 2 minus P whole square minus 1 minus P whole square, right? That's what we get. Now we need to find the value of P from this particular equation. You could expand this, right? You could write this as 7 equals 2. Or you could use difference of squares also, right? But I'll simply expand and figure it out. So expanding, we get 4 minus 4p plus p square minus, and this we get 1, minus 2p plus p square. So that is 7 equals 2. p square and p square cancel. 4 minus 1 is 3. Minus 4p minus and minus becomes positive, right? So, so we get 6p here. Oh, sorry, minus, and this is positive 2p. So we get minus 2p here. Correct. So minus and minus becomes positive 2p. So minus 4 plus 2p will be minus 2p. And therefore, we get 2p equals to uh, 3 uh, minus 7, which is minus 4. Or we get p as equals to minus 4 by 2, which is minus 2. Correct. So we get the value of p as minus 2. Now, since we have p as minus 2, we can find the value of q by substituting minus 2 in our first equation. Correct. So we'll use this value, p equals to minus 2, in our equation number 1. Let me call this as equation 3, right? So we'll call this as our equation 3. Now there's less space, but let me finish it off here. So if I substitute minus 2 here, I get 13 equals to 1 minus and minus becomes plus 2 plus q. So that is 13 equals to 3 squared is 9, 9 plus q. Or 13 minus 9 is the value of q, which is 4. So q is 4 for us. Now that gives us the expression, and that is the nth term can be written here as now, p-value is minus 2. So, that's the formula we're considering. So, it'll be x plus 2, right? Whole square. And q is 4 plus 4, correct? So, that becomes the formula. So, the nth term for the given sequence is x plus 2 whole square plus 4. Is that clear, right? So, these are the steps involved to find an expression uh, which is quadratic in our case for the given sequence. Correct? Okay? Now, in the fresh page, we'll use this formula to find the 98th term and also answer part C of this question. Now, we have already found the nth term. Let me write down here. nth term is given by the formula x plus 2 whole square plus 4, right? So that is the nth term. If I substitute 1 here, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13, right? It works. Now let's do part B. Part B is find the 98th term, right? So 98th term will be, you have to substitute x as 98, right? So you'll have 98 plus 2 whole square plus 4, and that is 100 square plus 4. And that is equals to four zeros, right? Plus four, or is equals to one zero 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 four, right? So that becomes the ninetieth term of our sequence, correct? Now let's answer part C of this question. Use the expression in part A to write the general term for this sequence, right? So if you see, the two sequences are what? 1 is 13, 20, 29, 40, and 53, and so on. The other one is 10, 17, 26, 37, 50, and so on. So basically, here we have difference of 
3, right? So basically minus 3, right? 13 minus 3 is 10, 20 minus 3 is 17. And therefore, nth term will be what? Minus 3, right? So we get nth term as x plus 2 whole square plus 1, right? So we'll do 4 minus 3, which is 1, correct? So that is how we are going to get the general expression for the new sequence which is given to us. Since the new sequence is only 3 less than the old sequence, perfect. So every number is 3 less than the previous number. So minus 3 can work for us, perfect. So that is how we can answer this particular question. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.